Have you ever thought about the word Thanksgiving? It's made up of two words, thanks and giving, so it involves more than just the feelings of gratitude. Thanksgiving is expressing it. In Philippians 4 verse 4 to 7, Paul mentions Thanksgiving and he also mentions another word, rejoice. This word is similar to Thanksgiving because it also involves an action. When you rejoice, you do more than feel happy or joyful. You express that joy in an outward way. So what Paul was really teaching was this, express the joy that you have because of Jesus, your gratitude for what he's done, and pray for the things that you need. When you do these three, you'll have peace that cannot be shaken. You see, one of the ways God leads us is by a sense of peace. When you feel peace about a direction or decision, you can be sure that you're going the right way. But if, in general, you never feel at peace, you can't rely on this leading to take you into God's best for your life. If you have lost touch with this deep sense of peace that I'm talking about, it's time to express joy and gratitude again. We all face problems, but we also have many reasons to be grateful. It's time to count those blessings today.